What's up guys? As you know, I'm a big fan of One Wheel, a self-stabilized electric skateboard. It's really fun to ride hands-free around the town instead of holding that annoying remote control. But can this idea of self-stabilizing work in eFoils? Let's find out. There are a couple of new companies that claim that they can use the power of gyro to self-stabilize eFoil, making it a smooth, very balanced, hands-free riding experience. So the question is, is it the future of e-foiling or these companies trying to answer a question that doesn't exist? Let's find out. You'll be the judge. The first company we have here, it's called Level Foils. I mentioned it a couple of years ago when I first found their website. It's really a revolutionary idea. I think they're first who actually introduced it to the market. What these guys are going to do? is to apply the power of gyroscope to self-stabilize the e-foil by balancing the wing. Let's check how it works. Electric-powered hydrofoils combine the rush of a water sport with the serene magic of flight. It's fast, exciting, and quickly becoming the future of water sports. The only problem is, it's not that easy until now introducing level the world's first and only stabilized e-foil with level anyone at any level can fly hydrofoiling works just like the wing of an airplane differing pressure on either side of the wing creates lift that raises the board completely out of the water What we did at Level was add a first of its kind gyro stabilizer, making balancing the board completely automatic. It works so well, it can even fly by itself. We also swapped out the hand controller that other e-foils use for a more intuitive fly-by-wire weight-based control. It's the only e-foil that has this function. So basically what we have here is exactly the same idea as one wheel. You balance it with your body by leaning forward and backwards. So no need for having that remote control anymore. This sounds super exciting to be honest and I'm very excited to try this product. I reached the company and they're already trying to arrange the European tour. So I hope one day we meet and we can ask them all the questions and actually try this product hands-free. They have very active Instagram where you can see <laughs> the dog is actually foiling. That is super fun. And the dog is actually foiling alone, not like with other companies where you have still the rider. Here, the dog is just roaming free. Look at that, guys. That is amazing. <laughs> but the only criticism that we have here from people who see this kind of product is they're claiming that e-foiling is already quite easy so it's very easy to learn and by trying to self-stabilize it you're taking a fun factor out of it so it's very interesting for me to see how the company is actually addressing these issues let's see if we can test this product in future but you really have to keep an eye on this kind of products now, the next one we have in this category is a new product called X-Foil. Take a look, guys. X-Foil is a Chinese product that is running Indiegogo campaign here. And I have a lot of red flags with this company. First of all, they also claim they have a lot of bold claims they also claim their first gyro stabilized hydrofoil, ignoring the fact that level foils also doing it. They're providing extremely low cheap price, but this is just an Indiegogo. This is not yet the product that you can actually buy. The problem with Indiegogo is that their campaign is fully funded. You can see they already received almost 2 million euros. It's amazing. With 200 
I mean even 422 bakers. And they're running campaign for two years, more than two years, since 2022. But look at this, guys. I still, now we are in summer 2024 when I'm recording this, but I haven't seen a single rider, single independent rider that actually received the product, that's using it, that posting his feedback. It's only videos from the CEO, and I haven't seen an, a single independent, unbiased riding experience from anybody. So this is a big red flag to me. Also, there are a lot of um, strange issues here that I'm very concerned about. Aside of the fact that it took more than two years to deliver, which is fine, sometimes it happens. But uh, there are a lot of red flags here as well. For example, they're comparing it to other companies of the market. You can see here a comparison table. They obviously call Flightboard Competitor F, Lift Falls Competitor L. And they claim such just outright lies. For example, they're saying that Flightboard is 12,500 while they have now new models under 9,000. They say that rider skill is advanced to experts, which is completely not true because Flightboard is extremely easy to learn for beginners. They have inflatable ones and now Lift Falls also have a blowfish which is inflatable tube you put around lip falls so this is a complete lie that somehow it's only for experts and then you can see uh, like it's not good for surfing which is a ridiculous claim because actually flight board and lift falls is made by surfers and it's used in big waves we've seen everybody riding lift falls and flight board in giant waves so it's ridiculous to claim that it's not suitable for, for surfing somehow. So a lot of claims here are just outright lies, which is a red flag to me, aside of the fact that uh, this is obviously a Chinese company, but it's, it's somehow claiming that it's from uh, United States and then they fail to show any independent review in two years, two plus years. Still, we haven't seen an, any independent rider review. So a lot of red flags here, and what's even worse, recently the CEO, Paul, started this topic on Facebook, which received a lot of backlash. He was claiming that somehow his new dynamic self-balanced wings are, are superior to anything. He was even comparing all our current e-falls to like a typewriter, and his approach is a, somehow a future, a computers of e-falls while everybody is riding on outdated technology. I'm very skeptical about these bold claims, but again, I'm not the judge here. I'm just sharing the experience. You can see Paul is answering the questions here, which is some people are excited. Some people are very skeptical about it, especially by the fact that nobody actually tested this new technology and they haven't shown any advanced riders riding it. Paul posted this video showing the science behind it and Basically, it's 3D render again, and he's showing all these uh, ways how these little parts are adjusting themselves um, by the computer and the gyroscope and making the balance right. You can see uh, this is a traditional wing, and here Paul is comparing it to his new wing with so many moving parts. I'm very skeptical, not about the fact that self-stabilizing is a great idea but by the fact that with so many small moving parts a lot of motors in the marine environment quickly with the salty water the sand getting in all those tiny motors parts joints of all these parts this can really become rusty it can easily break so my main concern is not to disbelieve the technology, which is quite interesting, but my concern is always the durability because the guy who has more than eight years in this industry, I'm always concerned of durability.
like look at this if we zoom in on this part where he's showing here there are so many tiny parts tiny moving parts here and imagine if I'm writing to the debris whatever you hit a lot of things underwater seaweed junk whatever everything will be wrapping around all these things not to mention how you're going to change different wings because this looks like it's fixed one size I'm not sure if you can easily swap the wings the best feature about e-foiling is the ability to switch the wings to experiment I can quickly put a different wing in just changing three screws but here how I'm supposed to do it if we have so many little moving parts joints in the, in the back as well I don't know guys you'll be the judge but I'll be honest for now I'm a little bit skeptical to call it the future of e -foli. so again I'm not the disbeliever of the technology itself it's quite interesting but I'm quite concerned about the durability part of it and the fact that no pro riders were allowed to ride this technology in two years I'm a little bit concerned how this actually behaves in the waves in the real ocean not just on flat area going straight like they show in the video but how actually it turns if you're riding it in waves in real conditions in choppy water because real ocean is not always like this perfectly smooth you have waves you have chop you have wings winds it's a lot of variables that can make or break this technology so I'm very excited to try this kind of e-falls in future and you guys let me know in the comments below is it really a future of e-falling will we see big brands like flightboard and leaf walls actually jumping on board with this technology and making their versions of self-balanced if walls or they're trying to solve the problem that doesn't exist because if falling is already very easy especially if we put blowfish or flightboard inflatable air it's making it especially you know with that handlebar it's extremely easy to learn i mean what kind of question they're trying to solve here oh wait before i go when I was already editing this video and about to publish it, we have one more stabilized e announcement. It's from a very reputable company called Waydo, which has been producing beginner-friendly e for a long time. So this company, uh, compared to previous two that I mentioned in this video, is already on the market several years, producing boards, trusted company. It's a Chinese brand and they have been doing this for a long time. So I'm pretty sure these guys will get it to the market in no time. This is called Flyer Evo. I haven't been testing it, but they just announced it basically last week. I hope one day they'll visit me in Portugal and will be able to, to test it. Let's quickly see together what they're about to offer. So they're famous for their soft EPP boards, which is very beginner friendly and go not going to smash into anything. Let's quickly take a look at their presentation together. So what we have here is a modular design, a battery EPP board, which has handle and in front for easy transportation and we can even attach the wheels. Then we have the mast and we have all the wings here. They offer different sizes for heavier riders, medium and more professional. As you can see, it's pretty affordable. All right, everything seems like more refined, different wings, effortless adventures, chargers, and this is new stuff. 
this year, like I mentioned, everybody is going for handlebars. Presumably, it's very easy for beginners to learn to turn it way too into your flight scooter. And then you have the little wheels for transportation. And this is most important. You see now they have sensors here and GPS, which lets the system automatically adjust the speed and basically stabilize itself. So if you're about to nose dive and it detects that you're going too close to the surface, somehow it is adjusting speed. And then it basically helps you right if you're a complete beginner. So we have just one more stabilized people in the market and I'm glad to see that way too is not stopping that they keep innovating and this kind of innovations that actually get to the market that you can actually buy not some sort of kickstarters or R&D projects for future these boards I'm pretty sure you'll have on the water already in no time because this company is actually delivering so that's all for today for sure. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the stabilized default trend. Will other will other brands catch up and start offering something like this in the future? Or it's not needed? What what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Have a great summer. Keep on riding. Take care. Cheers.